Welcome back to the show. Uh, now, listen, we have a few sayings that go around here. Uh, what do we say? We like to say what goes around comes around. Uh, revenge is a dish best served cold. And what else, Nathan? T towels off Tuesday. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that's not one of those sayings. But anyway, right. take a look at this. <laughs> a bit more high-pitched, Brian, <laughs> and high if you just howl at the moon. Yeah, real funny. Short ass. But as they say, what goes around comes around. You tiny little person. Anyway, it was time for sweet revenge. And my large headed friend here saw a golden opportunity. I've got an idea to get back at Matthew. I want to lay this on you. So, you know the sportsman's lunches we do? Yeah. So we've got one coming up. So I'm thinking, we get up on stage, we do our thing, chat, 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 chat. Yeah. We plant someone front row to heckle him. Right. Oh. It's all going to hinge on... That person. This person. So first thing we needed was a heckler. Yes. Enter Jackie, comedian extraordinaire. She was so polite when we met her. You have a tongue like a viper. Anyway, we briefed her on the talking points and angles that we could stitch Maddie up with and set her on her merry way. So with the plan set in stone, D-Day arrived and the camera crew went out early to set up the stick. We had eyes everywhere. Even in the bathroom cubicles. Really? Yes, Brian. Yes, Every yes. cubicle? Yes, Brian. It wasn't long before our Mark arrived at the Bella Vista Hotel completely unaware. Yes, with our producers listening in from next door, Brian. So we finally arrived at the venue to get mic'd up. Boys here. Boys, we went in to meet Maddie just before the event started. Hey, brother. Hey, that's you. Hey, you How are you? See you, mate. Windy. While all along, our heckler was waiting patiently in the audience, disguised as a vengeful, hateful shark supporter. Then it was showtime. I think it's time to bring out our guests. Ryan Fletcher, Nathan Highmarsh. Now, just to confirm, we told her to start slowly, didn't we? That's correct, yes. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain, the coach, the millionaire, James Rowland. So by this stage, I was a little bit concerned that she was possibly going to be too nice. I, I felt the same, but boy, weren't we wrong. I'm the romantic type, so I was taking Trish over to, a, to watch the boxing. Heard this story things. last time. You're so boring. We heard, this, we heard this story last time, banging on about poor Trish, your long-suffering wife. I'll let Trish know we've got a number one supporter no. here, too. <laughs> poor old Trish. Now, normally, when we do these sort of pranks, we have complete control, but we were up on stage, so we gave Jackie complete carte blanche. Carte blanche? Carte blanche. It's French for do the whatever the f*** you want. You went up to Byron with Trish. Sorry, yeah. madam. Sorry, it's, it's a fun story. Am I allowed to tell this? So... Yeah, Maddie. No, I'm just going to say one thing. No. and you took our team, you ran it to the ground. Do you take ownership? I don't know, it's not here from South Sydney, otherwise... Look, at least we agree on one thing, OK? Yes, I was shit that year. Yes, you were, Matthew. But the best but anyway, was yet to come. Then, and then, then, we had the Cronulla riots. That's on you. Sorry, that, that is ridiculous. I think we better eject this lady. I can't believe you're paid to come here. Okay. Hang on, let's just... Let's, let's no, it's all right. Have some fun. No, no, it's OK. okay. It's OK. okay. I was only mucking around. Don't throw her out. Look, there was a lot of rubbish said, but she was pretty much spot on with this comment. Just as well you got these two blokes telling stories, or today would be as boring as the show you had on Channel 7. <laughs> She was really getting into her act, and she was loving every second of it. He was starting to get a little bit suspicious, though. Back to 2002. Hey, yeah, it was a tie. Oh, 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 o
Now, as Matty was getting more suspicious and he was searching for the cameras, we turned up the spotlights so he couldn't see anything. John, I've got a question. You played 5'8". Do you ever wish you were that tall? Good on you, darling. Anyway. She was relentless that whole first session. Yeah, so we went in for half time and Matthew was visibly very nervous, wasn't yeah. he? I was looking around. I was seriously looking around for Ben Hogarth. I thought you knew what. Rich, we might. Should we get a kick there? Should we get a kick there? If she does something, I just walked over. I said, one more time, you're out. Now it was time for Act Two, and it was just an innocent little bit of uh, Q and A with the crowd. In innocent. <laughs> she f***ing went way off script. Sal, can you give us? We'll just give one question. The security's coming. Uh, my first question is: You're not a very good role model or human being because you live in your brother's shadow. Sorry. I take, I take offence at that. Well, you're and I, I must say, oh. I took great offence at your thing about the Cronulla rights. <laughs> We got security to take her outside, let her cool the jets for about 10 minutes, and then we let her waltz back in with one final blast. Oh, she went rogue. That was a classic case of bullying. That was... That was a classic case of male bullying. That was... You didn't like a woman questioning you and challenging you, and you had me thrown out. You tried to silence me. I, I and for you me, you made me feel like a piece of crap. So thank you. Thank you, whatever your stupid name is. I won't be coming back. Anyway, we had our fun, so it was time to let the big kahuna in on the game. Gentlemen, while I've got your attention here, this time last year, I don't know if you saw it when the Red Rooster ad, when Piney and I suck us in. Well, you've all been part of uh, someone who was part of it. So Jackie's coming here. Jackie's been part of this. Yeah. <laughs> Please come up, Jackie. Um, so this Jackie, you said so many nasty things about me. <laughs> you f***ing blokes. Oh, f me. So with the prank complete, Maddie got to say his final goodbye to Jackie out the back. I was, I was so actually great. sitting there going to myself. So this woman has f***ing paid good money <laughs> just to come here and give it to me. F she must hate me. Trish sent a text going, how's the lunch going? And I said, actually, having an awful time. There's a crazy woman in the audience, and every time I speak, she yells, boring, or shut up. <laughs> she went on a rant saying, I instigated the Cronulla rights. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, what? And they haven't removed her? Get her out of there. She's a f***ing lunatic. Now, I guess you're all thinking that's the end of the revenge. Wrong. Old Flopperelli here, he came up with an idea. If plan A didn't work... First idea ever. Yeah, I'm not going to explain it. Just roll the tape. Put a python in his car. Just a, just a snake. Just, a, just put a python oh, that'd be in awesome. his back seat. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so while Matty was walking around quite flustered, we got our producer to put a giant f off snake in the back seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to leave you with Operation Giant Snake in the back of Maddie's car. Yeah, yeah, good as well. Right. See you, boys. Yeah. What's in the box? What's in there, Matthew? <laughs> What's in there, Matthew? <laughs> so, where? What's in God. the box? Oh, jeez, oh, look at it. Oh, oh, look, 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 look at that. No, 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 no. Look at that me. Oh, f*** you. Holy hell. Look how big it is. Oh, f*** off. No. Oh, f*** off. Get me out. Look at that. Get me out, please. Oh, f***. Oh. Oh, Oh, OK. Oh, so, tell me now, has someone gone to my house and done a shit in my bed? <laughs> oh, f*** off. I'll, I'll walk home. What a f***ing shit day. What a shit day.